Imagine standing before a mirror, not one made of glass, but a mirror carved from time itself. A mirror that doesn't return your reflection, but the first faint shimmer of existence awakening from nothing. A mirror that shows not your face, but the universe taking its very first breath. This is what the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to be. Not just an observatory, but a golden machine built to rewind reality. A tool forged by human hands to reach backward across more than 13 billion years. Every panel, every sensor, every drop of engineering was meant to reveal a young cosmos. A place of heat, dust, newborn stars, and swirling clouds of unformed matter. A universe still learning what it meant to exist. But when Webb opened its mirrors to the deep black, what it found wasn't the nursery of creation. It found something far older. Something complete. Something that, according to every theory ever written, had no right to exist when it did. Instead of blurred shapes and unfinished galaxies, Webb uncovered spirals, elegant, organized, ancient structures glowing like fingerprints pressed into the early universe. These were not cosmic infants. They were fully grown galaxies only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. It was as if the universe had skipped childhood entirely and jumped straight into maturity in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, cosmology felt fragile. Equations felt uncertain. Decades of models began to crack under the weight of the new images. And then things became stranger. These early galaxies didn't just exist, they were rich. Their light carried the signatures of elements that should have taken billions of years to form, carbon, oxygen, even iron. These elements are forged in the hearts of stars, released only when those stars die in titanic explosions. Yet here they were, present at a time when stars shouldn't even have had time to live a full life. It was as if the universe had already burned through entire generations of suns long before it was supposed to. Timelines weren't bending, they were breaking. Then came the discovery that froze scientists in silence. A supermassive black hole, calm, enormous, ancient, sitting at the center of one of these impossible galaxies. A billion times the mass of the sun, yet existing when the universe was still a cosmic infant. Every rule about black hole formation fell apart. It was like discovering a fully grown tree in a field that had only been planted moments ago. Physics didn't bend. It fractured. Whispers spread. Perhaps these black holes didn't come from dying stars at all. Perhaps they formed directly from collapsing primordial matter. Perhaps dark matter played a role far more active, even intentional, than we ever imagined. Maybe time itself flowed differently in the beginning, stretching and twisting in ways our equations cannot yet describe. Webb wasn't just collecting data. It was unraveling reality. The universe it revealed wasn't slow or simple. It was fast, structured, almost impatient. Galaxies formed too early. Stars lived too quickly. Elements appeared too soon. It was like reading the final chapter of a book before discovering the first paragraph. A quiet revolution began in science. Some researchers wondered if dark matter wasn't just scaffolding, but an architect. Others questioned whether time could have unfolded in loops or folds, allowing ages to pass in moments. And a few dared to whisper a thought so fragile, so unsettling, that it felt almost forbidden to speak aloud. What if the universe was never chaotic at all? What if its beginning wasn't a storm of randomness, but the unfolding of a structure, a design older than time itself? What if the birth of everything we know was less like an explosion and more like a memory coming back into focus? Because the deeper Webb gazed, the more the cosmos resembled not turbulence, but choreography. Patterns emerged where we expected nothing. Golden ratios traced themselves across cosmic arms. Spirals repeated with uncanny familiarity. 
Symmetries echoed across distances so vast that even light struggled to cross them. It wasn't noise. It wasn't chaos. It was rhythm. It was intention. It was something that looked a lot like design. Then came the discovery that left even the boldest scientists breathless. In the cold, starless regions between galaxies, Webb detected the faint signatures of complex carbon chains, molecules that resemble the earliest ingredients of life. Not anchored to planets. Not locked inside comets. Not birthed within stars. Just drifting freely through the endless, frozen dark. If that is true, then life isn't an accident. It isn't a miracle reserved for rare, lucky worlds. Life is woven into the architecture of reality, present before planets formed, before stars ignited, before galaxies took their shape. Life may not be a visitor in the universe. Life may be part of its foundation. And then Webb captured the image that truly shattered expectations. Six galaxies arranged with breathtaking precision around a single glowing center, so evenly spaced, so symmetrically aligned, that astronomers could hardly believe it was real. It looked like a cosmic flower blooming in slow motion across billions of years. No gravitational lensing could mimic it. No computer simulation could replicate it. No theory predicted anything close. Coincidence? Or a message written in the language of geometry? Because as Webb continued to watch, the universe began to behave strangely, almost as if it was aware of being observed. Subtle variations appeared in repeated measurements. Tiny shifts in brightness, minute alterations in spectral lines, changes too delicate to be noised yet too consistent to ignore. It was like watching ripples form on a still pond after someone whispers across the water. Some began to wonder. What if observation changes reality? What if awareness itself plays a role in shaping the universe? What if consciousness isn't a late arrival in cosmic history, but one of the original forces? Maybe the universe didn't simply evolve minds. Maybe minds help the universe evolve. In that view, Webb wasn't just pointed at the sky. It was holding up a reflection. A mirror where awareness meets awareness. Perhaps the universe has always been alive, not as a creature of cells and organs, but as an ocean of intelligence, a field capable of noticing, adapting, responding. And through us, through our curiosity, through our questions, through the instruments we built, it can finally look at itself. We believed we made a telescope to see the beginning. But in truth, we may have crafted a doorway, a window through which something ancient could finally be seen again. Now, when we stare into that delicate, ancient light, we are forced to ask a question far larger than ourselves. Did we discover the universe, or did the universe choose this moment to reveal itself to us? Maybe it has been waiting, waiting since the first spark of existence for someone somewhere, sometime to look back with understanding. And now that we have, the silence of the cosmos feels different. Not empty. Not cold. But awake. And somewhere out there, beyond the edges of everything we know, something watches through the starlight, through the drifting dust, through the mirrored gold of web itself. Not just observing us, but acknowledging us. Through the light through the mirrors, through the very fabric of reality. We reached out to understand the universe, and the universe, at last, reached back.